even after all these years, it's still common knowledge that we don't fully understand the origins of mankind. Even if you adopt a biblical perspective about the creation of man, we still don't understand why we were created or how we ended up where we are today. Scientists have proposed the idea that we all emerged from ape-like ancestors after being created over the course of millions of years following the Big Bang. However, even this theory doesn't answer all of our questions and leaves many possibilities open for interpretation. There are numerous gaps in the theory of evolution, but there are also some gaps in the more biblical story of creation as well. To make matters worse, we've found various ancient artifacts around the world that pose many unanswered questions about the dawn of man. In today's video, we would like to cover several ancient discoveries that may help shed light on how humankind has come to be, as well as propose a few theories about how we got this far. Be sure to stick around for the final point of this video, you won't want to miss it. Also, if you like videos like this and want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. The Basic Theory of Human Life To this day, one of the most prevailing theories about how humans came to be is Darwin's theory of evolution. To best understand the further content of today's video, we need to take a short look at Darwin's theory and how it may or may not help to explain human existence. According to Darwin, life on Earth is purely biological. Darwin largely rejected the idea of humans having a creator and claims that humans were the result of a series of chance encounters in which various biological processes resulted in us being created. Darwin's theory also claims that humans became the world-ruling creatures we are today strictly based on the idea of survival of the fittest. This idea can be boiled down to one simple sentence, only the strong survive. By using this logic, it explains how humans began to essentially rule over the world and how we were able to tame most types of animals to do our bidding or to help us with our agricultural needs. In modern times, the discovery of genes helped to further this theory, at least for a while. Until just a few years ago, researchers believed that genes controlled all life and development on Earth, where these genes originated and what allows them to gather and store information is not well understood. However, in more recent years we've learned that genes are not everything we believe them to be. In fact, the information stored in our genes is not permanent. Rather, it can dynamically react to the world around us to help us to become better, stronger people based on our environments. This discovery outlined a few major flaws in Darwin's theory of evolution. However, it also helped prove a few of his theories to be correct. For example, it could help us to better understand how animals evolve over time. For instance, if we were truly apes at one point, our genes could have mutated over the course of thousands of years, allowing us to gradually turn into the species we are today. However, there is a missing link that scientists have been unable to account for. While we could make an entire video based on this missing link theory, to keep it simple, scientists essentially cannot fully understand how humans would have been able to evolve from apes as there's a missing link in our genetic code that would prevent us from doing so. Yes, humans and apes do share a lot of the same characteristics, but based on the timeline that scientists accept today, there must have been some sort of major event that caused a drastic change in our genetic code over a very short period of time. However, this event has never been uncovered. To this day, this is one of the major hurdles that Darwin's theory has been unable to overcome. Again, this is a very rudimentary explanation of this idea, so take it with a grain of salt. Does the Bible provide answers? 
For anyone who's read the Bible or knows a little bit about its teachings, you'd know that the Bible claims that humans were created as completed beings. There was no evolution involved. Rather, humans were created by God in our current form. The story of creation says that a man named Adam and a woman named Eve were created in God's own image. They were placed into a location known as the Garden of Eden, where they were to live in peace and harmony forever. However, as time passed by, Adam and Eve gave in to temptation and were banned from ever stepping foot in the Garden of Eden again. They were then cast out of the Garden and condemned to roam the earth until they passed away, being forced to hunt and cultivate their own food. This story explains why humans are continuously plagued with turmoil to this day. It's a punishment that has been passed down by our ancestors dating back to the dawn of man. This same story of creation has been passed down for thousands of years, albeit with some pretty critical differences. This story of creation can be dated back to one of the world's first human settlements, the land of Sumer. Sumer is believed to be where many of man's inventions were first created. This is where humankind first began to practice cultivation, as well as the taming of animals and livestock. However, Sumerian history tells a slightly different story of creation. It still follows the story of Adam and Eve to a certain extent, but it gives creation to multiple gods rather than just one. The story credits Namu and Nimak as the gods who were commissioned by a deity known as Enki to create humankind in their own image. This story claims that Adam was created from clay and water from a sacred ocean. It says that Adam's first wife was named Lilith and that she was created as an equal. However, Adam was unsatisfied with his wife and chose to take Eve, a much tamer and submissive woman, as his new wife. As you can tell, the stories share many similarities, but the biblical version of this story is often the most believable version, as the traditional story of Adam and Eve has many more sources that were shared and written down through various generations and various cultures of early humans. However, without being there firsthand, many scientists and researchers find it difficult to believe either of these theories. This story of creation is very interesting because in every culture around the world, there's always some sort of story of the creation of man. They often follow very similar structures to the creation of Adam and Eve, though some cultures tell many different stories. However, one thing is certain, throughout all of ancient human history, there was never a story shared that claimed humans descended from apes. Did humans really evolve from animals? There is a much deeper aspect of human existence that we cannot ignore. For countless years, average humans, scientists, historians, and researchers have questioned how modern humans came to be. For the most part, scientifically-minded people believe that humans evolved from animals. As mentioned a moment ago, the most popular theory is that we evolved from apes. However, humans have developed in a very unique way that has not been observed in any other species on Earth. For example, we've manufactured tools that have never been manufactured by other animals. Yes, apes and other primates have used sticks for hunting for many years. We know that some primates use sticks to lure ants out of their nests so that they can be eaten. More recently, we've also noticed a primate using a very rudimentary type of fishing tool to help gather fish from the water. However, no other species has developed the intricate tools that humans have. Another interesting thing to note is that no other species has developed the ability to speak in a discernible way. Yes, dolphins have the ability to communicate, but their language doesn't come close to the detail and accuracy that's present in human languages. We know that trees, bushes, and other plant life have a form of communication as well. However, this too does not come close to what humans are capable of. Even though plants and animals have allegedly existed on Earth for millions of years longer than humans, a much darker way of looking at this also involved a human's desire to kill. Many humans kill for pleasure or for sport, whether that means 
killing other humans or killing other animals. No other species has done this. All other species on Earth purely kill for necessity or out of defense or fear. Our brain structure is also unique when compared to other animals. Our brains have developed in a much different way from other animals, allowing us to think differently and react differently. An interesting side note about human development is that no other species has developed the idea of prostitution either. Humans have been involved in prostitution for thousands and thousands of years, though no other species has ever developed this desire to trade sex for food. Finally, the most obvious difference is that humans wear clothes. There's not one other animal in existence who wears any sort of clothing. We know that some primates may use flowers as jewelry, but they've never crafted a shirt, undergarments, or any other form of clothing that comes close to what humans have developed. Does a Russian shipwreck offer new clues? Back in 2019, a team of Russian researchers uncovered a shipwreck that had sunk to the bottom of the Baltic Sea sometime in the 18th century. When they searched through this shipwreck, they uncovered many documents that some people believe may shed some light on how humans became what we are today. One of the artifacts they uncovered was an ancient book believed to have been at least 295 years old. The book was very strangely shaped, and in more recent years has been dated to the year 1692. It was written in German, and unfortunately, the title of the book was destroyed after spending many years underwater. We know that the title began with the words, The Life Story of… but the rest of it has been lost to time. What makes this book extremely interesting to historians is that the cover of the book shows a picture of a man and a woman. The illustrations have allowed some historians to believe that the original title would have likely read The Life Story of Mankind. However, this is only a theory. It's believed that this book is an ancient form of the Bible and that it could contain psalms that are not included in the traditional Christian Bible. Researchers believe that these ancient psalms may shed new light on the creation of man. However, unfortunately, only 50 of the 500 pages could be investigated, as they fear that further research may result in the book being completely destroyed, as it's incredibly degraded after spending so many years underwater. The Voynich Manuscript one of the more interesting artifacts from history that's been explored recently is the Voynich Manuscript. This manuscript is believed to date back to the 15th century. The interesting thing about this book that sets it apart from others is that it's written in a text that has never been deciphered. In fact, we don't even know for sure that the text is written in a true language or font. It's estimated that the book was created sometime between 1404 and 1436 in Italy. The book got its name from the bookseller Wilfred Voynich, who purchased the book back in 1912. The crazy thing about this book is that it shows the detailed structures of plants as well as other elements of nature and even shows a somewhat accurate description of human anatomy. From what we've gathered from this script, the book claims that all human beings are formed and animated by unseen energy that flows all throughout nature. The words truth and lie have also been found all throughout the book, seeming to show the origins of human morality. There are leaves all throughout the book as well, and when folded in a particular way, they reveal the Fibonacci sequence, a famous set of numbers that has become known as the creation code. This code can be found all throughout the universe. Clearly, we're merely at the beginning of our understanding of human development. Science has a long way to go in regards to understanding how humans came to be. However, more religious-minded individuals also have to admit that science has helped to shed light on certain aspects of human history and development that could have never been possible otherwise. Whether you believe in the scientific theory of human creation or the biblical idea of creation, we can all agree on one thing. 
there's a lot about our world and our existence that we may never truly understand. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.